number of years ago, and I was teaching at a theological seminary. At a faculty meeting, we realized how many of our students were being chewed up by the church and spit out. And the faculty turned to me and said, Brown, that's up to you to fix it. So I designed a number of lectures on politics in the church, how to win the battles without losing your soul. And I lectured on, I even brought pastors in and they told their experiences and the students absolutely hated it. And they told me so. And I said, listen, you're going to be tested on this material. When you get into the church, you're going to be tested again. And the day will come when you will rise up and call me blessed. And that's what's happened. Hardly a week passes, I don't get a call from a former student who says, Dr. Brown, I hated what you said, but you saved my life and my ministry. 10% of the people in the church are the meanest Christians on the face of the earth. And the problem is they're often in leadership. And I tell the students, if you're going to minister to them, you'll get raises. You won't have any problems. There won't be any storms. And when it's your time to die, you'll say, I should have, and you will weep. If you minister to the 90%, if you care about them, you're going to face hell. And if you survive, you will have a church. So I gave these lectures and the students needed to hear what I said. But one of the things I said in those classes is, if this gets so bad, you're thinking about leaving the seminary, taking your fees with you, and I can't be paid, then raise your hand and I'll tell you some good things about the church. One of the students one time raised his hand and said, Dr. Brown, this is getting really, really dark. Say some good things. And I did. And I surprised myself by getting emotional. I didn't talk about building programs or elders or deacons or conferences or Bible or religion or prayer. I talked about people. I talked about friends. The friends who loved me when I was unlovable, who cut slack for me when I screwed it up. I remember the men in my church when my brother, my closest friend died. He was the district attorney in North Carolina probably be the governor today if he'd lived, and I died. I went home to bury my brother, and I looked around me, and the people of the church had driven all that way just to be with me and to love me. I remember when I sinned publicly and thought my ministry was over, and the people in the church gave me a standing ovation I remember being so afraid and being hugged, and I, and I remember the women who baked cookies for me and who loved me when there was no reason to do that. 